Our next task for this database is to create a simple query. We've been asked to create a query that will list all of the animals with just their name, their adoption price, and whether or not they need a special diet. To do this, I'm first going to click on the Create tab on the ribbon. That causes all the buttons to change to the Create tasks. And in the Queries group, we're going to use the Query Wizard for this task. I'll click that button one time, and it opens a small dialog box to help me through this process. We are going to do just a simple query, so the simple query wizard is what we need, and that's the default choice. So I'll just click OK. Now I have to identify what fields to put into the query. Again, I needed the name. I want the adoption price and I want to know whether or not the animal needs a special diet. So I've added the name, the adoption price, and the special diet field to the query. I'll click the Next button. This brings me to a screen that asks me would I like to see all the records or just a summary. And I do want to see all the records, so I will leave that at the default choice and click Next. Now I have to give the query a name. So I'm going to get rid of this name that the computer suggests because that's not really a very meaningful name. All my queries are going to have to do with critters, so critter query is not very meaningful. Instead, I will call this names with price and special diet. Now I know exactly what's going to be in this query. Underneath that, I get to decide whether or not I want to see the results right away, or if I would like to make an adjustment to the design of the query. I feel good about just viewing the information, and I can always go back and design it further later if I need to. So I'm going to click the Finish button. Now I have the results of my query. Notice that over here on the left, the query was saved with the name that I gave it. On the right here, I see the actual results. So I have created my first simple query. I'm going to close those results. Notice that the query that I named stays right here. And I can watch it again now anytime by simply double clicking it, and there are my results. So we're done with our first query.